My name is Natalie Oliver and I stand for equity and compassion. My name is Mariah Tanner and I stand for unity and compassion and well-being. We stand for this for ourselves, for you, and the whole community. And we're here because we won the 2017 Nexties Give Back Person People, People of the Year. Woohoo! Woo! So we started a project called Re-Gift the Gift of Gift Giving. And over the last two years, we've been able to raise 5,000 donations in total for our local homeless shelters. There are currently 1,964 people experiencing homelessness in Santa Cruz County. And through a personal um, moment where Natalie and I were able to meet and speak with chronically homeless individuals, we decided to launch this project. and hopefully advance unity and compassion and well-being and equity through our community. And that was really, you know, why we decided to do this is we really wanted to, you know, we're not going to end homelessness with the donation drive, but we wanted to shift the narrative mm -hmm. um, around this population in our community and also to provide an opportunity for people to jump into courageous mm -hmm. action if they really mm -hmm. care um, about what's going on and can see the connection between humans um, and we can all do this together, then we can make, um, we can move mountains and really kind of focus on uh, this particular population. So Natalie and I know that 5,000 donations will not solve homelessness. It will not end our housing crisis. It will not solve for substance abuse disorders. It does not fix our mental health care system. But what it does do is it creates an opportunity to have 300 individuals in our community show up mm -hmm. and have their own hearts break open towards compassion. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're here for. My um, commitment towards this project is if it is raining and cold out and one person says, oh my gosh, there's someone sleeping outside right now. Like, that's such a bummer. I wish that I wasn't there. How can I, how can I get more involved? And to me, this project is a success. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely one of the, like, the local examples, but then also, even as a statewide, the ripple effect that happened through this project and really kind of the legacy that we want to carry on is spreading that. And when we play big, when our community plays big, mm. others are inspired by that. And so one of our friends down in LA, they want to host a re-gift, the gift of gift giving <laughs> in their community. And so how can we continue to make those um, those inspirations can you know grow and in Santa Rosa someone reached out to us and said we want to start this in Santa Rosa for their foster youth and for us it's like how can we build um, a really authentic and sincere example of community partnering to make this successful and then help other people that we're close with launch this themselves yeah. and so it's almost like we're finding out these like best practices to make this happen but we don't see them as best practices because we're deeply rooted in making it um, from a place that we're sourcing and now we're crowdsourcing everyone's compassion. Mm -hmm. So it's more, um, it's a more personal project than it is like a cookie cutter process. My favorite movie is definitely A League of Their Own. I watched it every single night before uh, Little League tryouts every year. <laughs> girl power, right? I mean, seriously, support your local girl gang. That's funny that you say that because my favorite movie is First Wives Club and oh, it's a what? total <laughs> girl power movie. <laughs> So, although I never met him, um, I have read a lot about his work and uh, Gandhi and the quote, like, be the change you wish to see mm -hmm. in the world, really resonated with me mm -hmm. in college and kind of sprung me into action mm -hmm. because, you know, mm -hmm. I do want to be that change. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I would have to say him. Yeah. Uh, I have uh, two local mentors that have really shifted my life and I, I can't, I can't, there's no way I could just choose one. Uh, Kimberly LaCrosse, who was my mentor uh, when I worked at the United Way of Santa Cruz County and through my time in college, and she really, really taught me how to harness and and believe in the power of being vulnerable and authentic and mm -hmm. sincere, and also standing in a place of, of 
courageous action, even if you're standing by yourself. And she leads through her example every day of that. Yeah, I'm really. Does. And my other one has to be um, Irene Suprake, who is someone who has um, taught me the importance of radical self-love and radical collaboration and deep listening and and going bigger than what your limiting beliefs are. And she, um, you know, she's taken me in. So I'm very, very lucky for both of those women. What is that? It's like the biggest thing that's happening next month. It's called the Nexties. Hello, we won. What? We're Mariah. And Natalie. And we're the 2017 Nexties Give Back People of the Year. Because we're two people. Because we're two people. <laughs> and we're here to say the Nexties is going to be the place to be on March 24th at the Rio Theater. We are so honored and excited to be in the room so with our honored, fellow so excited. movers and shakers. Thinkers and doers. That are doing amazing things in our community. And guess what? You get to be a part of it too. You're invited. Just like we invited 300 of you guys <laughs> to donate 5,000 donations to homeless shelters, we're inviting you to come out and celebrate and join this community that is so worth celebrating. Hey, you could be next. You could be next.